So just an update, we're going to finish up all the details today. The loose fill pallets worked out good. Uh, I think we got a nice pitch. We're going to have a nice support. We're, we're going to bridge the pallets with uh, the same thickness of boards that are on the loose fill. So that uh, give us a place for the sheet metal would be attached to. Um, I mean, the, the construction seems to be working good. Um, this is the biggest building we've built out of pallets so far. It's fairly, it's fairly strong. Um, it would be ideal if we sheathed the building with uh, OSB or, or, or some plywood that really makes it a lot stronger. I mean, the same thing happens with 2x4 or 2x6 construction, regular construction. You gotta, you gotta put plywood on to make it stronger. And I think when we put the boards on and the, and the sheet metal on the outside, that'll make it a heck of a lot stronger. What we do to, uh, we're gonna try in this building is we just, every everywhere there's a, there's a joint, we're gonna put a couple of these 2x4 uh, pallet stringers in. And that really stiffens the building up. It's a lot cheaper than putting plywood. This is just a shed. It doesn't need to be plywooded on the inside. So, I mean, there's endless ways of spending money on a building. So the whole idea of using pallets is to try to save money. I think the third building we've used with the, the mid plate. And that seems to be working really well. Could, if you wanted to, you could put... You could bridge these in, in the center with a 2x4 stringer going this way, just like a spline. Oh, the plan for today is we're going to strengthen up all the, and level off all the, the roof pellets, bridge all the roof pellets. We're going to support all the roof pellets with a tie across and uh, beef up that uh, bridge beam, that uh, top plate beam. And yeah, we're gonna finish the strengthening up this corner here. Because it's, it's still a little loose here. But it just needs some stiffening this way and some stiffening this way. So something similar to what you did over here? Yeah, basically similar to what we did over here. And, uh, and you don't have to tie it in at the bottom? No, we're not gonna tie it in because we've got it, we've got it pinned here and uh, I think it's going to be fine. I mean, if it, if, if it looks like we need it later on or something, we can always put something across here, but there's, there's no need for it. I got a 16-footer here, too. I got it on video where you tried to kill him twice, so a third time's a what, bit much. What, where, where did I try to kill him? <laughs> There's no trying with me. I would succeed. <laughs> Not intentionally, but... What's wrong? Got a wonky wink in it? Are these, are these actually 12 feet? Or? Yeah, you, it wasn't 12 feet across here, remember? The other 12 footers didn't work either. Yeah. We had to add little pieces to it. Hello, hello, Lucy. Oh, snag them. Yeah, I'll just snag them, then we'll put a piece on either side. And... Sounds like a plan. How's, how's that side? Bring her out to the edge here. Yeah, you do the same. At least, at least we got something overhanging there. Yeah. I'll check this side. I got it. Still gotta add some yeah. pieces in here. Yeah. We gotta add pieces in here. We gotta add pieces in here. Well, we we gotta we gotta start cutting some to fill in the bottoms of these. But I don't
don't think we need to, we, we don't need to fill in the whole thing. One of the things I was going to do. Whoa! <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm not standing under nothing. What does a call mean? Uh, ones they can't sell. The aggravation and grief. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm your brother. You never would put up with me. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know that how guy. Come, how come the tailgate's not on yet? Need a, need a clamp <laughs> here. Here's a clamp. How's your truck running? Oh, it doesn't move, but I got the tailgate done. <laughs> You're really going to do that? What's that, 10 screws? <laughs> Our Amazon battery lasted 10 screws. <laughs> Go back no, and buy quality. Memory. Them jungle website batteries is so bad, we have to use the Makita now. You gonna finish that? Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put something in there just to fill it in. But the purpose of this is not up and down strength. The purpose of this is prevent the walls from spreading out. That's what it's for. So what we so what we did is we just bridged it on that side, bridged it on that side, and attached it together. So basically, all that's doing is just prevent the top of the plates from spreading out.
That's better. That works better. So, how long is this temporary for? Well, we get siding up. So the point of this is uh, we got to bridge the, the gap here. So we're just putting blocks in here so we can put a board across. Okay. So we got some place for the tin to attach to. What we've been doing is uh, we're just putting blocks on the end because we get like again like when I was telling you inside we're doing the same thing on the outside. <clears throat> we're just putting the blocks in here so we can put a board across so we can bridge the pellets. So we got a place for the, the metal to screw to. So if you come around this other side, you'll be able to see it better. Okay. Uh, the, we did, the ridge beam wasn't long enough. So what I'm gonna do is make it long enough. Okay. opening okay Short at the top or too big? Too big.
you have the level? I charged them up all night so they're 10 oh, times yeah, better now. You got 20 screws for I got sure. 22 screws oh, now. 22. Oh, because, yeah. yeah, I got oh. the magnet thing going. Luxury. Luxury. So what are we doing today, Keith? Well, we're going to we're gonna put some more wood up on the roof. I thought about it. I and, knew that was coming. Well, you should you should have a support every two feet. And we got one in the, <coughs> in the middle. That's not enough. We put one every foot on mine. Yeah. Well, but, but you got to remember, other than the rafters, that's all you had. Like I, like yeah, we've well, got a pretty. I got more rafters than you got. Yeah, but not not really. Six. Yeah, but those are two by four rafters. I got two by six rafters. Yeah, I know, but yeah. uh, smaller. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I understand. No, but there's, there's more there. area. There's thirty six inches. So we're gonna add some more wood to the roof. Some more supports. We're going to put them every two feet, like to bridge the gaps. And then, if we get we get time, we're going to start putting uh, roofing up. Sounds good. Might have to bang the nails in. What are you using them for? Well, we're gonna put a, every two feet, we're gonna put a... Oh, okay, the brace. Okay. So you need that for the brace to, to fill it, I see. Nineteen and three quarters. Thank you. So, could you have used all pallets up here? We wouldn't have to use the bridging. Well, we could have used all pallets if we'd had enough of these loose fill. Uh -huh. We could have used all of them. It wouldn't have made it too heavy. No. Okay. And you're starting a new project, yeah. Okay. How are the drills doing? What? How are your drills working? Them, uh, yeah. They're working. I mean, when they all work when they're brand new. Yeah. <laughs> Until they don't. Yeah. Holding the chickens for the huggy bear. The coyotes and the foxes, the, the weasels and the mink, <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Alrighty. 
comes from the co-op too. It's, um, it covers their uh, bundles of lumber. And when they open up a bundle, they trash this. So I, we keep it, keep it for the uh, wrap on the, our buildings. <laughs> Cover the eaves too. I know. That was that was that was all planning. Yeah, okay, hang on. Hang on, don't do nothing until I see if it's even down there. Yeah, yeah, well. It doesn't really matter, you're gonna have to cut it anyway. I got it stapled, eh? So you tell me when you're good. Okay, pull your way. Right there? Yeah, let her run. Okay. Let me put a couple of staples in and then we'll go. Another side will we'll do that. Yep. So Right here. Problem is you, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. There's one here and then a big one right beside it. Okay. Then then right in front of it. Where it was. Tear, it's just going to tear holes in it if I slide it. I want to pass it. So on the bottom there, I want a, I want an inch, and, uh, an inch and a half. Just stay there, just stay there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Inch and a half, and then. Uh, you see, you see this rib here? Yeah. See how that is like that? You want that lined up with the outer edge? No, yes. What about your fascia board? Now the fascia board I want an inch and a half. Now just remember we that uh, so just put the Put the edge right here, this corner here. Yeah, yeah. that's where I got it. Okay. That the inside edge right here. Yeah. Is on the two by four. Now right. an inch and a half. An inch and a half. Just hang on to this one. Just gonna put one screw in. Yeah. Put it in the middle. That's, that's, that's actually wrong. Oh. You're supposed to put it in you're supposed to put it in the corner so you can keep a kitty corner. If you put it in the middle, yeah, you yeah, can, I got you. There's yeah. one. You know what I mean, Bird? Okay, bring another sheet up. Rip it. Okay. Okay, get 
get yourself an inch and a half there. Yeah, yeah, that was uh, that was pretty sketchy. It was, the guy was living in a van down by the river. But it's good tin. Okay, because uh, I'm going to cover that with a red cap anyway. Okay. Inch and almost a half. I'm not going to be the full guy. Never mind you. That's I'm not going to be the full guy on this one. I'm going down fighting. <laughs> yeah, let me get a measuring stick. See, we're back to an inch and a half on this side. Yeah. And an inch and... Well, just line up the edges. Yeah, hang on. Just line up the edges. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. It's overlapping. I'm gonna put her up. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six a side. We're going to use 12 on here. So yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be that lucky, but well, why not? It overhangs. Depends on how much it overhangs, I guess. It doesn't have to overhang any long. It can overhang on this side. Yeah. Who cares? Line it up with that and put it on here. Right top. Yep, you got the right top. Oh, wow. careful. Okay, so that ridge like we did before. Yeah. Okay, but it's not going to work that way. No, it's not. No. Okay, bring it right out. Okay, so I'm going to give it, uh, gonna give it, like right, right, uh, go, look. No, yeah, yeah, just hang on. I'll oh. Grab my tape measure. Okay, I'm just going to see here, if you look, like uh, right here. Yeah, that inside line. That inside line. Now, if you go out to this one here, yeah, what does it look like down there? Well, it's. If you go, are you, what, what are you putting for a fascia board here now? Because you you're changing this, right? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave that. I just have to put a different board on there. So it looks like about two inches over, over here. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. Mark it up, line it up. About an inch. inch. And three sixteenths. Right. So so that's that's basically down at the bottom from the two by four go an inch and three sixteenths over. And that's uh, where you want to make your mark. Yeah. Throw it up to me. Or I'm standing here. Now you remember from it from this crease where the edge of the two by four is, I went over an inch and three sixteen. Where's the line? I can well, you don't it. need a line. Well, you don't really need it, but I can see it. Okay, that's good.
end. Keep right from the end of that if you measure. I wonder if we. Oh, could you grab me that tea measure real quick? I can. Ooh, this is going to be stuck. Hey, where in the hell am I? So what we're doing, we're just putting screws in where the holes were before. It's not... It's not pretty and aesthetic, but it'll stop some of the leaks. Because this is recycled. I'm just asking brother to do a favor. Make sure there's a rubber gasket under the screw when he puts it there. Say it again. My brother <laughs> abandoned me. No, with that, I need a mechanic. <laughs> Like an inch of the, or a couple of inches. Oh, that's good. Perfect size. Perfect size. Well, I guess it, it covers 16 foot, probably 16 foot lumber. Yeah. Yvonne, how is that corner there? Is it still in line? Here, yeah, go in that corner. You always do that far corner one. Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Yes, it does because we got to adjust it on this corner. Okay. The stuff doesn't move around that much until you move it. Oh, too much. You got to keep it in that. Get another one up here. I'll just have to, I'll have to make do with what we got. Like we're starting to come back into it again, eh? Sure. sure. <laughs> but I can tell that we're going out of whack up here because the, the gap is getting wider as we come this way. Yeah. So I just wonder if we have to uh, come down here and have a peek. Well, you're also going to put down the roof here, too. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm going to, well, I don't know, I might do that. I might just come off of that one. Might. Well, that would be the easiest thing to do. Well, you could put another roof. Yeah, but then you're getting lower for head dive. Yeah, but it's just a white shed. I'm not too yeah, but you want to go on it. Go on it. Did you already snap, snap a chalk line? We did. You better not.
And hand me the ridge cap, please. Yep. Thank you. Where's your little bag hit thing, Keith? In the back of the truck. Another one? Roofing deal. Okay, we're out here today, and uh, we just about finished the roof yesterday, but we're running out of ridge cap, so instead of buying some, I'm going to fabricate some out of this old salvaged tin wheel. go free ridge cap I'll show you a picture when we or a vid when we get it up on the roof there we go it's all done roof's all done it's somewhat protected from the rain now so we've got a place to or the tractor. Still lots more to do yet. We got to side it and build doors and put a lean to onto the side. We're gonna we're gonna put the wood shed over here too. The wood shed's gonna be in this area here. Talk to you guys later.